This is Carrie Steller with In the Girls' Corner, and I am here speaking to Matt Mosh. Matt is fighting for Men of War next Saturday. That is November 18th, Men of War 19. We are super excited. Matt, how are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. I mean, training has been great. Um, preparation, everything is pretty smooth. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super pumped for, for this matchup. I mean, especially uh, title. I've never really fought for a title before so it's like a like a new scene but like I'm excited you know it's huge that's a gigantic step and it's your first one and that's amazing especially for men of war they have a great promotion have you fought for them before yeah yeah actually I fought for them a couple times um and I love it I mean my first super fight was men of, uh, at a men of war event and uh I mean I remember it like it was yesterday um and it was just it was great they put mm. on a really really great production so it has to feel nice to have a title fight for you know promotion that puts on a great show for the fighters for the fans for you guys athletes which is huge yeah yeah and I like you know I know Eugene just by you know from Mike knowing him and like seeing him a lot and it's just good to like support his show you know and him giving me an opportunity to to perform you know um what I do best so Absolutely. How long have you been training and how did you get into it? I've been training for f around five years now. Um, and I got into it from my my best friend and his dad started. So uh, we actually did karate, which wasn't like, you know, it was like that that dojo karate. It wasn't like, yeah. you know, um, and they got into it and they, they told me, hey, like, you should come and train. And I was like, OK. And, you know, I, I started off a little like I didn't like it too much and then I started to, I just fell in love with it and like I just never stopped um and yeah and I guess here we are so I, that's and it's true you eat I feel like people do they either fall in love with it or they don't and one mm -hmm. of my friends and I started I started training a little bit before her um yeah. like a couple of years ago two years ago and um and then she came in and started training with me and she, I guess about like six, seven months later, she was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, no, I see it all the time. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you've accomplished all you wanted. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I see that all the time. Like a bunch of like my friends would come in and they're like, I don't know if I like it. And I'm like, you don't got to like, I love it, you know? Like, <laughs> You have to really, really love it. I mean, especially if you're in there all the time, you know, people are like, how many days a week do you train? I'm like five, six sometimes. They're like, mm -hmm. That's a lot. I'm like, no, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it's it's great. And you train at Black Hole Jiu Jitsu? Yeah, so that's where I've trained predominantly. Like that's you know my main main training place. Um, I'll bounce around with their locations. They have a couple of different locations, um, but it's mainly uh, HQ and Wappingers. Um, I train out of there as much as I can. Um, so, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Mackie Wacker is a fantastic coach. Um, how how long have you, did you start doing jujitsu there, or is that somewhere you landed? Yeah, actually, I started in uh, Mike's uh, kids program when I was around like twelve. So I was like hitting that that age where it's like you're about to leave the kids program. So I I was in the kids program for like a year and a half or so or two, um, and then I was moved up to like the adult program, and then. I just kind of took off um, from there. But yeah, I started with Mike um, and, you know, taught me everything I know. Uh, Did you do any wrestling in high school with it since you had the jujitsu background? Yeah. So um, I started wrestling in seventh and seventh grade and um, wrestled throughout all throughout high school. Um, and I did pretty well. I mean, I think like considering I trained all four years, um, like, jiu-jitsu um throughout high school uh, I think it definitely helped me out especially with like all the different walks of people who you get you know it's like you'll either get this seasoned vet wrestler who you know knows the ins and outs and then you get like you know somebody who's who's not doesn't know the ropes too well but I mean I learned so much when it comes to wrestling from from training there you know absolutely and I mean you can apply it to everything you do and you know I mean a lot of people do put 
put wrestling under their belt now. However, having as much experience as you do puts you at a different level. I mean, I've wrestled with, you know, and, and trained with people that are actual like wrestlers like yourself. And it's a whole mm. different ball game than rolling with somebody that just is jujitsu. Ju- ju- it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause you I get like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. hundred percent. Especially like those really like D1 wrestlers who like jump into jujitsu. It's like, oh my God. These incredible. guys. Yeah. No. It's but. a smart move too. Especially if like, you know, after, after college or after high school, you know, what would be next? Jujitsu would be a really good transition in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it goes hand in hand all the time, you know. Is jujitsu the only thing you want to do, or are you planning on maybe getting into MMA? Uh, I Right now, I think my goals are set with jujitsu, uh, just when it comes to what I want to do in the sport. But I, I'm not turning down, try, like, trying MMA. I know I do, I do a little bit of striking here and there, uh, but nothing where it's, like, every day so I, I think i'm going to i'll start that in in in, in a bit for sure um but i, I just jujitsu is on my on my hair out you know on my, my focus right now what do you have your what are in your plans for jujitsu what do you see in your future yeah um so i was actually supposed to like really um well tomorrow i was supposed to go to texas for a super fight um, oh. but yeah, but it just, uh, it just didn't work out and all that, but I was supposed to hit that. And then we had the men of war and then it was straight after men of war, uh, right into worlds, no new worlds. And then. Are trial. you going to make- Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'd, uh, I'm going to capture that world title and then for West coast trials, that's going to be like the next, next main one that like just make a big camp out of it. And awesome. you know, make a run. That's so. amazing. Have you ever been to Vegas? No, actually, no, no, no. I've been to Texas though, like because we were just talking about that. I've been to Texas <laughs> for Pan Ams, um, but never, never Vegas. So I'm, I'm super pumped for that. This is a really cool place. Uh, in general, I don't drink. One time when I did, I was drinking, and the other time I went, I wasn't. It doesn't even matter if you drink or if you don't. It's just such a cool place. There's so many things to see. Uh, I, I, if I was you and you have time, go walk the, just walk around, just walk the strip, see what's out there. All the hotels are cool. Mm, okay, you know, def- have- <laughs> what do you say? And they have great food everywhere. Yes. So I Not hear. eat in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, do you um- know where the worlds are being held there? Um, I saw the address the other day, um, but I, I don't, I don't recall. I'm going to have to look it up because there can be, some of the venues there are amazing. I can't mm-hmm. wait to find out how that went. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. Now, mm-hmm. were you going to go, um, you're, you're not doing the Texas uh, match this weekend. That's what I think Marissa said she was doing. Yes. Yep. Yep. So Marissa's down there with Jay, Alexa, like those are all my teammates. Um, awesome. they're down, yeah, they're in Texas, uh, as we speak, um, just got to make weight. I think tomorrow, yeah, tomorrow morning, yeah. early they're going make weight and then it's showtime after that. So that's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. You train with some uh, fantastic people. What is it like training with Marissa, Fatima, everybody that you train with? It's just insane. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's, a. Uh, it's an honor. I mean, especially like, I mean, Marissa's, she, she definitely runs me for my money. She's very good. Um, Fatima, I mean, she's, you see, you see, if you saw her combat jujitsu worlds match, I mean, that's all you got to say. Uh, it's just, you know, so much knowledge. And then uh, training with Danielle is also, I mean, one of the coolest things, definitely. She, she may look like, she's small and like you know you can maybe no nope she's very technical very sharp like it's really just insane the level difference um but it's great it's great i learned a lot from you know girls as much as the guys i mean they're everyone there just uh pushes me 100 percent. so one of the best uh i would call it academies up up uh in i would say upstate area 
Um, they fantastic black hole jujitsu that produced so many amazing athletes. Uh, I'm very good friends with Lizzie Van Zant. So I was at um, the Invicta card that Lindsay and Fatima both fought on. So it was really, really nice that all my friends were on there. Really? That's yeah. nice. That's all good. my friends fought on there and I do journalism. So I, I went there, did interviews, covered the fight. It was so great. It was such a good time, uh, you know, and uh, all the girls are amazing. And it was really cool seeing them all train together and, you know, uh, even the girls that don't train upstate, but that they train in New Jersey. It was just nice to see the camaraderie and everything going on. Yeah, yeah. That must have been great, 100%. Seeing your friends compete out there. Oh, it was wild. It was such a good time. And I'm yeah. going to be at Men of War, so I'm really excited to see you compete and to see your title match. How has your camp and training been up until this point? I mean, you're a week out, so you're probably taking it not as hard as you were a week, a week or so ago. Yeah, so um, camp's been pretty good. We've been doing a lot of world's prep. Um, and just before that, we were doing a lot of trials prep. So honestly, it was a lot of, I mean, for trials, it was a lot of wrestling base staying on top, uh, for, for, um, world's prep. It's kind of just more learning about the point system. So, um, either both camps are really just prepping me for, um, these, these super fights as well. Like, I mean, it goes hand in hand. Like yeah. you, you do wrestling, you stay on top, you know, you, you're going to, uh, play your guard you got to sweep you know all that it, it it's been really good especially um how mike runs it um and some of my training partners um it's it's going it's going very well so that's amazing do you have anything that you do outside of jujitsu and training any kind of hobbies anything that you like yeah so it might yeah it might seem like you know, he, he just focused on that. Um, and, I mean, it mainly is that. It's all I, I really do like. Um, <clears throat> I, I'm i not really a big guy in, like, video games. Um, I'd say, me, like, I could I could definitely skate. Like, I could hit a couple tricks for sure. Oh, you uh, like skateboarding. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's different. Yeah. Um, I'm decent at chess. I'm all right. Um, what else? I'm not surprised. <laughs> And then, I mean, honestly, that's really it. It's just training nonstop. But those are two really great things. Uh, one, chess is amazing. I'm not very good at it, and I don't play often. I used to. But it's it, you can apply it to jiu-jitsu, especially if you're a competitor. I also shoot pool, so I can apply everything you know, that I do. And, and jujitsu changed my entire pool game, which was wild. And I watched it change like overnight. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? It is so <laughs> wild. Yeah. No, it, 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 a lot of stuff goes hand in hand, you know, especially the mental aspect of it. Um, so. Absolutely. And you have a great head about you. You're young, I can tell. And I mean that in the best way possible. Uh, how do you keep such a well, such a well rounded mind and, and, and keep in focus at your age and, and, you know, not go out and party and do the stupid shit that everybody yeah. else. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, um, I think there's a couple things that go into it. I think the people you surround yourself with, you know, it's, you got to be around the guys who are going to push you and push themselves. Uh, and also you, once you like, I think once you set goals that may seem like kind of out there and like, Oh, well, you know, that's, that's an achievement. It kind of like brings a bar up, you know, the normalcy, like it's like, you know, you set a goal so high that you're going to have to bring up, you know, your actions, your, your normal day to day, stuff and there's also a ton of responsibilities like for me at least you know it's like Mike has me doing the um teaching the kids program full time so it's kind of like you gotta focus you know and like too many distractions especially for me will throw me off so it's like I like to just stay focused with with what I like you know so how amazing is it teaching kids uh that's something that I actually I'm looking forward to doing someday uh yeah. I do enjoy uh showing people like how to do things or different ways to get into things and I'm so mm -hmm. new at it but like I mean you know I'm a brand new blue belt uh but it's still I can show you know I, I watched myself teaching white belts and people things that like I'm like oh shit try this you know mm -hmm. so like I would definitely enjoy that and I love kids so it's got to be really cool yeah no I mean when 
I mean, sometimes it can get a little crazy, but I mean, otherwise, like it's it's really a good like experience in in itself. I mean, the whole aspect of yeah, giving them you know teaching them a part of my game and just like the sport, but also like giving the op- giving them the opportunity that like I was given. You know, I grew up in the kids program, so like seeing these kids, it's kind of like a look in the past. You know, it's like a mirror. It's like wow, like you know, you can you know, you're 13. I started when I was 13. You know, 12. If you want to do it, you know, here's the opportunity. So, um, it's, I mean, it's amazing. It is. And, the, and kids are great. And you learn while you're teaching, which is amazing too. You know, you mm. get things that you never really picked up before and, uh, it just makes it so much easier. And speaking of that, since you've been wrestling for so long and, you know, uh, you're competing now, how do you, do you apply your uh, wrestling weight cut to your, uh, jujitsu weight cut? Do you even cut weight? Um, and if so, how easy is it comparatively to most people because you have that background? So the the way I do it for wrestling and jujitsu, it it stays the same pretty much. Um, I'd say for wrestling, especially with like the past or last year's season, I'd say it's easier to cut weight in the season of wrestling because for me, it was practice every every. Um, day for longer than like my jujitsu practice usually um so it was just very like cardio and and, like sweat induced Mm -hmm. so it was easier to easier to cut the weight and maintain that lower weight Mm -hmm. jujitsu um i i mean 100 percent sweat like no one's business but i feel like there's there's 100 percent a difference in um i'd say maybe uh how hard practices can get and like that kind of stuff so i mean the whole weight cut when it comes to jujitsu it i mean it translates uh like the mentality and like um even diet stuff like that um but i'd say it's definitely easier to maintain the weight in the season you know because it's it's day to day and you got those coaches who are you know if you ever wrestle in high school it's like you got coaches who are checking your weight at the lunch period or like after right after school, hey, come down, check your weight. You know, like so it's it's much more like so. Yeah. Now, okay, so speaking of diet, I am a huge foodie. Uh okay. and would make it extremely hard. Not really good. I, I can look at food and lose weight. However, um, I do eat what how do you stay away from junk and food that's not great for you when you know you have to do I mean, I guess it's easy when you know you have to cut weight, but you know, to stay in shape, it's, it's not easy. I mean, I walk past Twinkies all the time and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. Like it's definitely not an easy thing, especially with somebody who like, I mean, like myself, I mean, I'll just, I'll just keep eating and like, there's nothing stopping me. Um, it's kind of just, I have to make the weight. So I just tell myself like, don't eat that brownie, you know, like <laughs> it's not worth it. Um, just eat after, you know, I always like that. Like when I would eat after a match, it's like, oh, this is my reward. You know, I remember I cut for trials this past um, trials uh, East Coast mm-hmm. and I it was a pretty hard cut. And having like a Gatorade after weigh-ins was probably like, the highlight or like a liquid IP. I mean, that thing was like the best thing I tasted. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I think it was the best drink I ever had in my life. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. But. Do you have a victory meal that you love? I know I have a couple of friends that are fighters. One of my friends, she loves Taco Bell after her fight. Do you have any kind of a victory meal that you're like, that's my go-to? Um, I'd say uh, chicken and waffles, but that's not super, like, accessible yeah. a lot of times. I get that from, like, a diner here locally. Um, But I'd say probably, if it's not that, probably just a burger and fries. And it's like, that's like a... a like a go-to you know you feel yeah <laughs> yeah like a five guys you know that usually does it i was gonna ask you do you have a certain burger joint and that's the perfect answer five guys is great i mean in the way of a faster food restaurant because it's not really fast food it's definitely mm-hmm. one of the better ones when you want to go and eat 100%. out yeah because like i mean the rest of the shit with the, the stuff that we have in our food is horrendous so i yeah. could um I- imagine that you'd like that better and i i definitely do too do you do any meal prepping yeah so um especially when it comes to like cutting i mean i'm going 55 for this this fight for men at war 
So that's not honestly a bad cut at all. It's kind of like just train and it'll come off. Yeah. Um, but I do meal prep when it's the bigger cuts. Um, I'll do, I'll do a lot of like just really basic things, uh, whether it's very small portion rice, but mainly it's either just a lot of meat, like chicken. I mean, I'll have a lot of chicken, steak, um, fish, um, and then like lighter snacks, very light, you know, hard boiled eggs, tuna, that, that type of stuff. Smart. That's the best way to do it. I mean, that, and that's people that will sit there and say, Oh, it doesn't taste great. No, you can make anything taste really good. If you use the right stuff and you're not, you know, going mm -hmm. out to, uh, to a fast food restaurant and putting in a package of, uh, whatever they have there, you know, it's, yeah. it's I tell people, you really got to look and you really, I mean, cause you see people that eat, uh, or drink rather, you know, protein shakes. And I was just talking about it yesterday and they're gigantic and it's like, but you know, it's the way and what you're putting in there. Uh, people don't realize like certain foods don't process through your body uh, in the way that you eat them. Bananas, if you eat a banana whole, your body breaks it down so much easier and the sugar doesn't turn into fat. Now, if you eat it uh, in a smoothie or something where it's like uh, ground up or whatever, or then it, it just, the sugar stays and that's why people gain so much weight. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Yeah. It's like, you got to know your body. Like when you, what you put in, it's like what you're going to get out. You know, I was just going to say that it's absolutely what you're going to get out. And like, I mean, I, like I said, I'm a foodie, so I love my junk foods. I love my snacks, but I'll go to a place that I know, uh, you know, like a whole foods or something and get something that's not so, so bad. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, only have a short amount of time left and I know that you have to go train or I'm sure you do because I know training all the time i wanted to know is there any sponsors that you want to thank anything that i didn't ask you that you want to get out there um sponsors a good one um i one sleeve i mean uh, jay he's he's the biggest help of anything he'll do anything for me he i mean it's, he's just hands down uh best uh, best sponsor best friend um and then Hemp Honey for life. They're pretty good. Um, I've I tried their product at a recent jujitsu event, and we just kind of like talked, and um, I mean it's great for recovery and then even sleep. Um, and then that's really it. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. Jeb, your training partners. Uh. I mean, Jay, Marissa, Alexa, uh, Colby, a bunch. Of, I mean, Danielle, they all, they're all, they're all savages. They all beat me up. So. I love it. I love it. Matt, where can everybody find you on social media? My Instagram, uh, Matt underscore Mosh. Um, and yeah, I mean, Instagram is the main, main one. So you can find me there. Yeah. amazing matt thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do an interview with me and i look forward to meeting you on fight night november 18th for metaphor 19 thank you i appreciate it awesome i will tag you and everything i'll put a promo post up on instagram cool awesome thank you so much have a good one you too bye